What you guys got some tech news? Microsoft claims Windows 11 24H2 is the most reliable version yet. According to the Windows IT Pro blog on July 22nd, 2025, on that day, Microsoft announced that Windows 11 version 24H2 KP5062660 introduces two major advancements that strengthens the system's resilience and minimizes downtime and redesigns users' experience for unexpected restarts and the general availability of the quick machine recovery. Together, these updates reflect on their commitment to helping users and IT admins recover from disruptions faster with less friction and greater control. These innovations are part of a broader Windows Resiliency initiative and it's designed to keep users productive and organisations running smoothly, according to Microsoft. So they're talking about quick machine recovery and the black screen of death. According to Microsoft, this is really important to change the colour from blue to black. But where this article uh, takes a turn for the worst is the actual statements that they are making in this article and they go on to talk about what the update is going to bring. But this bit right here, which says the most reliable Windows yet. We're also proud to share that Windows 11 24H2 is our most reliable version of Windows yet compared to Windows 10 22H2. Failure rates for the unexpected restarts have dropped by 24%. These improvements reflect deep collaboration across engineering design and also user research teams and commitment to making Windows more resilient to everyone. That is a pretty bold claim. So they're claiming that Windows 11 24H2 is now more reliable than Windows 10 22H2. And it also goes down to the disclaimer here where it says this blog post is informational purposes only and outlines Microsoft's current product direction and plans. Product availability, licensing terms and capabilities may vary from region and subject to change. The source of this information says source internal testing of Windows 11 memory dump write speed on October 2022. And the second source of information was reliability telemetry collected by Microsoft up until July 2025. So all of that telemetry you see on Windows 11 is where they've got all of this information from. Now I've made quite a few videos about Windows 11 24H2 and how it's plagued my machine and other people's machines as well. Now granted, there is people out there that have probably had very little issues with Windows 11 24H2, but I know a lot of people have suffered pretty badly. And you only have to look at the Windows 11 version 24H2 known issues. And you'll see there is absolutely tons of them. And when they release a, a you know an update or a patch for that system, what's going to happen is it normally breaks a ton of stuff. And that's what's been happening. And I've been making videos bringing that information to you and there's been a lot of people like myself that play games online that couldn't play games with the easy anti-cheat patch because it was broken. They've only just recently fixed that issue. And there was other issues like firewall issues recently. And there's been other issues with Windows 11 24H2. Granted, a lot of these now have been finally fixed, but it's been literally months and months and months of issues with windows 11 24 h2 in fact a lot of people chose not to upgrade to 24 h2 and opted to stay on windows 11 23 h2 now unfortunately 23 h2 reaches end of life on november and of course this means now that you are going to have to upgrade to 24 h2 now some people were hoping to bypass 24 h2 and go straight to 25H2, but Microsoft in their infinite wisdom have decided that you can't upgrade from 23H2 to 25H2 and that you're going to have to upgrade to 24H2 first and then upgrade to 25H2, which is a bit of a nightmare. Now, there is a list of all the resolved issues for Windows 11 24H2, and they have literally rolled out so many fixes but it seems that 24H2 has been plagued from the outset. 
No matter how many times they rolled out a fix for 24H2, it seems they broke three or four other things in the process. Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but I was getting blue screen of death. I was getting, you know, crashing. I couldn't upgrade. I had to roll back and then I lost all my data. It was a nightmare. So I was forced to put Windows 10 on the system just to get a working system so I could make videos and release them to you guys. So for Microsoft to claim that Windows 10 22H2 is worse than Windows 11 24H2 is a bold claim because I think Windows 10 22H2 is pretty rock solid. Now, there was a few issues with Windows 10 back in the day, but once they ironed all those out and it become stable and they left it alone and they stop updating Windows 10, all the problems went away and they put their attention on Windows 11 24H2, which has caused major problems. Now, where I think Microsoft are being sneaky here is they're trying to get people to come over from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24H2 because Believe it or not, there's a lot of people still on Windows 10. All right, Windows 11 has now surpassed Windows 10, but there's still a heap of people still using Windows 10, and they're not going over to Windows 11 just yet. I think Microsoft want them to go over to Windows 11, but a lot of people are staying on Windows 10. Now, granted, some of these people are not going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 because they've got unsupported hardware, but they've made that rod for their own back themselves by putting strict, stringent uh, hardware requirements on Windows 11. So, you know, basically that's what I'm uh, looking at right here. Windows 11 24H2 for me has been the worst version of Windows 11. I believe that Windows 11 23H2 has been probably the most stable and the most reliable compared to Windows 11 24H2. And I think a lot of that is due to all of the bloat that they've added into it, all of the stupidness, like all the Copilot, the recall, all of the other stuff that they've embedded into the operating system. And it just continues to break that operating system as fast as they add new features in it breaks stuff. And this is why people are pausing feature updates because they don't want feature updates. And they've embedded Copilot just about everywhere on Windows 11 and people just don't want it. So my opinion is Windows 11 24H2 is certainly not the best version of Windows 11 yet. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.